All right, well, it looks like everybody's getting logged in here. I'll give it just another moment. Unfortunately, I can't see those coming on uh, since I have my screen up for presentation mode, but uh, we'll give it one more moment, then we'll get going. All right, so good afternoon. Hopefully you can hear me okay. And welcome to our fourth edition of How to Do Business With. It's, it's exciting, this is our fourth already. Today we will focus on how to do business with Mount Graham Regional Medical Center located in Safford, Arizona. I'm your host, Eric Bejarano, but first I'd like to thank our community partners. Um, Sean Wenham, Freeport Mac Moran. Sean is the Social Performance Manager for Safford Operations. Vance Bryce, Graham County Chamber of Commerce. He is the Executive Director in partnership with our office, we have started hosting How To Do Business With. Today, we're going to hear from Eastern Arizona College Small Business Development Center, uh, which is me, and Mount Graham Regional Medical Center. We'll then conclude and we'll follow up with a Q&A. I would ask that you remain on mute and feel free to drop questions into the question function. If that's not working for you, you can always utilize chat. Uh, in addition, this presentation is being recorded. We will provide a recorded copy to each participant and to our mailing list at the SBDC. With that said, I'd like to begin with a brief discussion of what the SBDC is and what we do here at Eastern Arizona College. And then I'll turn the time over to Mount Graham Regional Medical Center. All right, just a quick agenda for you. So I'll start the show here and then we'll kick off to Mount Graham and then wrap up with Q&A. So the SBDC, I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to our amazing team. Um, if you're looking at the picture on my immediate left is Tavia. Tavia is our amazing program assistant, keeps us all in line. Uh, to her left, over on the far left of the picture is Sarah Alexander. Sarah is our business analyst in the globe. Uh, moving over to the right of me is so Simone Casio. Simone is our business analyst up in Payson. And then to the far right of the picture is Tori Cranford. Tori is our business analyst in Thatcher covering Graham and Green Lee. Uh, the amazing thing about our team is we are all part-time with the exception of me. So there's a lot that happens in this office. So how do we exist? Uh, the SBDC is grant funded through the SBA, the U.S. Small Business Administration. Uh, matched in part with funding from Eastern Arizona College. So we are in fact, employees of the college. Now, what do we do? We provide no cost business counseling. So I'm not gonna say free because we are grant funded. So is there a cost to it? And as taxpayers, that's being paid. But again, we provide no cost business counseling uh, to current businesses, to startups, to those that are already in business and, and looking to advance. Uh, we also offer a lot of low cost, no cost classes, seminars, uh, that we'll talk about in just a little bit. Uh, the main thing here to focus on is our mission. So our mission is to help new entrepreneurs realize the dream of business ownership and assist existing businesses to remain competitive in an ever-changing global economy. And I, I think we can all agree, a lot has changed recently. Now, I'd re be remiss if I didn't uh, include uh, a shout out to the Arizona Commerce Authority. They also provide grant funding for our office and for us to exist. And as you can see on the slide, the ACA is the state's leading economic development organization. So the ACA helps recruit, uh, grow, create out-of-state companies to come and expand their business footprint in Arizona. They also work with local companies to help them grow in the state. Uh, there's a lot of great things that come out of the ACA, and I am pleased to say that we are a partner with the Arizona Commerce Authority. The SBDC is not only a nationwide network, which I'll talk about in the next slide, but we are a statewide network. So we are affiliated with all of the community colleges uh, in the state of Arizona. So we actually have 26 different locations. You heard me say before that uh, out of Eastern Arizona College, we, uh, we have business analysts in Payson and in Globe. So we cover Graham, Greenlee, and Gila County from our office. Uh, as do other uh, community college SBDCs. They cover more than just one county. Uh, we also partner with uh, Arizona PTAC, which is our Arizona procurement offices. So they are our specialty department dealing with any government contracting. You can see our national footprint for the SBDC is immense. Over 1,100 centers nationwide, 
uh, over 4,500 full-time counselors across the nation. So if uh, you are looking to expand the footprint of your small business, be it right here in Thatcher, Arizona, and get out to another state, we can definitely find a resource for you to ensure that you understand how business practices go in that area and that you will be successful. Some of the final things just to key in on what we do at the SBDC, some of the services, our services and resources, uh, steps to growing or starting a new business, business plan development, which is often a stage that many of us overlook. Uh, if anybody's looking for lending for their small business, we can support and assist with that. Marketing, social media, cash flow, profit and loss, HR, hiring employees. We have uh, information on pretty much anything and everything that you will need for a small business. Uh, and like I said before, these items come at no cost. Uh, some of the, the bigger trainings that we do or the larger trainings, matter of fact, we just kicked off a Dream Builder cohort in Globe last week. And so, uh, this week is our second of 10 meetings with them. Uh, we're looking forward to bringing co-starters back. It's been a few years since we've done that and our QuickBooks training as well. Just take a pause here for a moment. Hopefully the audio plays on this, but kind of a little uh, neat video that we put together to fully describe what you can expect if you come to the SBDC. Hello, and welcome to the Eastern Arizona College Small Business Development Center. You will be greeted by our professional and welcoming team and utilize our Business Resource Center. We will ask you to complete a Counselor Client Expectations form so you know what to expect during our free one-on-one -on -one confidential business counseling services. Our SBDC team proudly serves Graham, Greenlee, and Gila counties, and our goal is to help you launch, grow, and support your small business. In addition to free one-on-one -on -one confidential counseling, We'll provide numerous no-cost and low-cost small business training workshops, including Dream Builder, Start Your Business Smart, and QuickBooks, to name a few. Eastern Arizona College has an amazing campus, and during your visit, we invite you to explore the many offerings the college provides. We look forward to making your dream of owning a small business not only a reality, but a success. Great. And yes, I do normally smile like that because I work with an amazing team and amazing communities in Graham, Greenlee, uh, and Gila counties, and it's just an amazing network. With that said, I am going to pause. Keep in mind, we'll open up questions at the end, but if you have any questions during this, feel free to drop them into the QA or the chat, and I'm going to turn the time over to Mount Graham Regional Medical Center. Not hearing anyone yet. <laughs> Eric, hey, this is Danny Smith. Hey, Danny. Hey, I can hear you. Well, hey, welcome, welcome everyone. I was, uh, I was wondering. Uh, thought Eric might like to uh, introduce. Uh, if you're there, Eric, if you can hear us. Um, we have a few of our uh, department heads uh, who typically do business with uh, people in the community or businesses in the community where there's potential to uh, do business with Mount Graham. Um, I don't have the order of the the uh, the slides in front of me. I'm not sure who's up first. Eric, do you know? Uh, it looks like we have, let me advance this and I'll tell you. In true technology fashion, my screen froze. Materials management. All right. Hello. Um, my name is Cindy Peterman, and I am the director of materials management here at Mount Graham. Um, we currently already do business with um, several businesses here in Graham County, um, including uh, uh, printed services, CMI. Um, employee uniforms, uh, trophies and tees, base hardware, uh, local furniture stores, and then we um, do stuff with like um, Fertizona and um, businesses like that. Um, currently, 
we're, we're pretty much open if we have any projects coming up and anybody wants to try to get their foot in the door and do business with Mount Graham, we will accept bids. We typically try to do like at least three bids for any type of um, project that we have coming up and uh, people who want to get in on those. Um, that's about it. All right, thank you, Cindy. Uh, next up, we have uh, our department head from uh, Daniel Harado with uh, Dietary. And Danielle, you can introduce yourself and tell us the types of things that you buy and how someone might do business with us. Hi, I'm Danielle Harado, the Director of Dietary Services. Um, we do have our food vendors. We get our food from U.S. Foods and Cisco right now. Um, a lot of, we do make food for a lot of um, directors meetings and stuff like that. So we do like the occasional like catering um, outside of Mount Graham. And we always like yummy treats and desserts. Um, we like to, to order from, we've ordered from different um, restaurants around here and bakeries. Um, we do occasionally get like t-shirts and stuff for gifts like that. Uh, we order um, drinks. We Right now we are currently getting from Coke and Pepsi. Um, we have a, a bread vendor we get from. Um, we're always welcome um, different ideas and variety of choices. Thank you, Danielle. We also have with us today uh, Jeff Woodward, our Director of Plant Services here at Mount Graham. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff Woodward, and I'm the Director of Plant Services here at Mount Graham. And we do quite a bit of uh, purchasing through Safford's, Thatcher, Pima. We currently are using about 20 vendors. Um, some of our bigger ones are Home Depot and <clears throat> I can uh, go over the vendors we use, um, but uh, they're Walmart, Home Depot. We do um, work with uh, Matlock Gas and um, Synergy for our diesel fuel, Ace Hardware, Tractor Supply, uh, NCE Small, small engine repair and also with their locksmithing. Uh, we also do quite a bit of flooring here at Mount Graham and we have used Safford carpet and carpet tile and more. Uh, CMI signs, they're, uh, we're actually doing a project and we're, they're involved in some wayfinding. We also work with ICS motors. They do uh, rebuild a lot of our motors that go bad. Uh, Johnson Motors, Harlson's Tires, Case Goodman Ag, um, some restaurants are r, &R Pizza, Alberto's. We also have done business with Carter's Beef. Um, a lot of our, our windows that we use, we go through Boulevard sales. We also use the recycling, local recycling metal mic. And <clears throat> occasionally we uh, do business with Open Loop. A lot of our construction projects that we do here at Mount Graham are, you know, they're they they're kind of a specialty because of uh, infection control. We try to use as many local bids as we can, and we also usually will get three bids um, and and make a decision through our admin team uh, which vendor we want to use. So the really big projects you would have to have some healthcare experience in order to be able to qualify for quotes. Um, we do work with a big general contractor, which is BFL Construction, and um, they have a big list of vendors that they use, and um, they try to use as many local companies as, as possible. They they have a screening process that they go through with their with their vendors and contractors. So that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, but we do use a lot of 
a lot of uh, local people. Great, thank, thank you, Jeff. And we have uh, Jeff and Danielle and Cindy's uh, contact information available in, in the next slide. Uh, I sh uh, should also introduce myself. My name is Danny Smith, and I serve as our uh, Director of Marketing and Community Relations. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. If you have an event going on or something uh, that your organization needs some help with and you think that there's a connection with uh, Mount Graham Regional, uh, please reach out to me and uh, we'll see if uh, we can help. Uh, uh, Jeff, Danielle, Cindy, if someone is watching this video, um, do they contact you directly to try to set up uh, or to tell you what they're offering and then to set up an account? Do they work with you directly or, or is there someone else? Uh, yeah, typically they would probably start with materials management or purchasing, um, and then we would uh, get their their information, such as W-9, and get them set up uh, with finance. And okay, great. Yeah. All right, thank you. Eric, uh, do you or your team have any questions for us? Yeah, Danny, I, unfortunately, I can't see the participants, so I don't see the chat screen. I don't know if any questions have been dropped in the chat, so we'll, we'll just open it up for a few minutes if you and your team are okay with that, see if we had any questions, and then we'll move to wrapping it up. Any questions for Danny and the Mount Graham Regional Medical Center team? That tells me you all did a phenomenal job on presenting your information. Uh, we'll move to our, our contact information like we just showed. So there's all the contact information for Mount Graham Regional Medical Center. I apologize, Danny, I left your information out of that slide. Uh, my information is up there as well, should you need that. Um, I want to thank Mount Graham Regional Med Medical Center for joining us. So Danny, Cindy, Danielle, and Jeff, thank you all for your time. Uh, keep an eye on your inbox for our next uh, installment of How to Do Business With. We look at forward to hosting that in October. And until then, make it a great day. Stay cool and stay safe out there. Thank you all for your time. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.